Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we'll discuss how to find the number of trailing zeros of a number in a different base x. Now do watch this video till the end because we have mentioned some practice questions at the end and you will be able to solve them only when you have watched the complete video from starting till end. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now before discussing the concept of trailing zeros, let us first discuss what is a base. So the base of a number is nothing but the different number of digits that I use in that number is called as the base of the number. So for example, the numbers that we use in our daily life are in the base 10 because we use the digits from 0 to 9 so there are 10 different digits in the base that's why the base of the number is equal to 10. For another example, if we have a number which only uses the numbers 0 and 1 then the base of the number will be 2 and this kind of number is known as the binary numbers. Now there are several different kind of bases that we'll come across in the upcoming videos but you only have to remember that the number of different digits that can be used in that number system is called as the base of the number. Now basically trailing zeros are the zeros at the end of the number. So for example if we have a number in base 10 and the number is 1035 and 4 zeros so the number of zeros at the end of the number are called as the trailing zeros of the number. Now in this particular number we can see that there are 4 trailing zeros so the number of trailing zeros is equal to 4. Now what if I tell you to find out the number of trailing zeros of this particular number when it is converted to a base 7. Now there are many methods by which you can convert a number from one base to another but to convert them with the usual method and then find the number of trailing zeros is a very tedious step. So let's discuss a very basic formula by which we can find out the number of trailing zeros of any given number in any given base. So the method by which we can find out the number of trailing zeros in the different base x is as follows. Let's take that the number that we have in our base 10 is n and we have to convert it to a different base x and we have to find out the number of trailing zeros in that base x. So what we have to do is we just have to find out the highest power of x in the number n. So for example if the number is 343 and we have to find out that what will be the number of trailing zeros when this number is converted to a base 10. Now 343 is given in the base 10 and we have to find out that what will be the number of trailing zeros when it is converted to a base of 7. So what we have to do is we just have to find out the highest power of 7 contained in the number 343. Now as we all know that 343 is equal to 7 cube so the number of trailing zeros that will be there in the number 343 when it is converted to a base 7 is equal to 3. Now this you can cross check as well by converting the number 343 to the base 7 and you will see that you will get a number as 1000 in the base 7. So you can yourself see that the number of trailing zeros at the end of the number is 3. So the number has 3 trailing zeros so our answer is also equal to 3. Now let's discuss some few problems that are usually asked in the exams. So according to our first question we have to find out that what is the number of trailing zeros of the number 120 raised to the power 17 in the base 10 when it is converted to a base 9. Now we just have to follow one simple step that is we have to find out the highest power of 9 in the number 120 raised to the power 17. Now we all know that 120 raised to the power 17 is equivalent to 12 into 10 raised to the power 17 and 12 is nothing but 2 square into 3 and 10 is equal to 2 into 5 so it is equivalent as 2 cube into 3 into 5 whole raised to the power 17. Now since we are only concerned with the number 9 so we will take out the power of 3 only so the number 3 is raised to the power of 17. Now 3 raised to the power 17 can be also written as 9 raised to the power 8 into 3 so the highest power of number 9 in the number 120 raised to the power 17 is equal to 9 raised to the power 8. So our answer is also equal to 8. So the number of trailing zeros when this number 120 raised to the power 17 is converted from base 10 to base 9 is equal to 8. Now according to our second question we have to find out what is the number of trailing zeros of the number 50 factorial when it is converted in a base 7. 
Now we just have to find out the highest power of 7 in the number 50 factorial. Now this is equivalent to finding the highest power of prime in n factorial and the formula is equal to the sum of greatest integer value of 50 divided by 7 plus the greatest integer value of 50 divided by 7 squared plus the greatest integer value of 50 divided by 7 cubed and we have stopped at the value 7 cubed because 7 cubed is 343 and is greater than 50. Now if you are not familiar with this concept then I have made a separate video on this topic so you can go watch that video first and then come back to this question. So now moving back to our question we just have to find the sum of these three values and we'll get our answer. So when 50 is divided by 7 the value is 7 point something. Now since we are taking the greatest integer value only so we'll get 7 as our answer then 50 divided by 49 gives the value as 1 point something so we'll get 1 as the answer and 50 divided by 7 cube is nothing but 0 point something so we'll get 0 as our answer so the sum of 7 1 and 0 is equal to 8 so the number of trailing zeros of 50 factorial when it is converted to a base 7 is equal to 8. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ACN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ACN Academy.